You're watching a special tornado edition of Full Force Nature. When a supercell thunderstorm forms near the Kansas town of Mulvane, residents fear the worst. Here's Mulvane, Dean. All right. Rapid rotation. There it is, funnel cloud. Soon, the swirling structure of a funnel cloud begins to take shape. I cannot believe this is happening. Reed Timmer and his friends watch helplessly as the tornado threatens this small town. Hold on, hold on, and we get to see the whole storm was spinning. And we knew something huge was going to happen. Wow, this structure is incredible! Pretty much just like a, a spacecraft, a UFO. Oh my god! As the funnel begins to drop down on homes in a neighborhood, wow. tornado sirens spring to life alerting everyone for miles of the danger. For Reed and his friends, the more immediate concern comes from the enormous hail that begins to fall around them. Uh, this hail is probably a softball size, maybe a little bit larger, so it's still like that. When you hit the Before they move far, a sliver of white stretches to the ground. Yo, we cannot move right now. No, we can't stop the ground. Holy Within moments, it grows to a powerful and well-defined tornado. Hold on, hold on. This is amazing. Whoa! Oh my god! Fortunately, the tornado skirts just south of Mulvey, and no structures are hit. The tornado looked really peaceful, actually. It was beautiful, it was white, had a rainbow in front of it, and it was really small. But actually, that can be deceiving sometimes. Oh my God, this is perfect. But now, outside of town, luck begins to run out. Well, uh oh, no, geez, this is not good. Guys. Very sad. Oh, geez, this is bad. What is happening? It didn't look that dangerous, but then it hit a grove of trees and started lofting whole trees and hay bales. And it's not that often that you see a tornado of that intensity. And, and plus, it wasn't very dusty. You know, it was a really small tornado, so you can actually see the individual pieces of debris that are getting lofted, the individual trees. Well, what are those things getting lofted? Don't know, like little hay, hay bales. That's what they were. Hay bales? Yeah. We were really concerned for the houses in this path. Whoa, there's a tree, there's a tree. The winds begin to whip around with added fury. Then the tornado makes its most destructive move. The towering twister destroys a house. Debris explodes into the air. Oh, oh! Oh, not good, not good. Oh my god, not good. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, sh What is that? It's going out. The house, isn't it? Yeah. We saw it uh, strike the house in, in Mulvane, and it, it, was hor it was a horrible sight. I mean, you just saw pieces of the house flying everywhere, and at that point, you knew that this is an extremely violent tornado. The tornado has hit the Landis family home head on, and all they can do is watch. Pieces of the home are cast off in all directions. Soon, the tornado begins to die out. friends rush to the house to give any help they can. When they arrive, they are first witness to the awesome power of this tornado. Few walls are left standing, and bits of the home are still falling from the sky. In a nearby field, hundreds of feet from the house, are the mangled remains of a prized 1969 custom Mustang. We went to the house, and you could see just you know, a piece of the wall pretty much caved into the basement, and the whole house was destroyed. And the tornado's path was, was pretty, pretty small in width, but it was really intense. I mean, everything was destroyed in its path. The two people at home when the tornado hit took shelter under the staircase in the basement and escaped with only minor injuries. In the end, the twister caused an estimated half million dollars in damage. It's a day the residents of Mulvane will not soon forget.